Really awesome looking city, isn't it, you guys? I'm pretty happy with the growth so far. So as you can tell by the title of this video, hmm, this was a bit of a experiment that kind of um, didn't really go how I wanted, but actually it turned out to be something even better than what I was trying to do. So um, judging by the title, this was actually supposed to be a city that was free of cars. Now that is technically doable, but I think the issue that we were having was uh, all of the vehicles or all of the people were coming from the um, the big cruise ship terminal right here. And so when they get off the, uh, the cruise ship terminal, they automatically spawn a car regardless of what's in front of them. So yeah, so you guys, <laughs> so anyway, I'll just show you guys. This is a very, well, all of the buildings are from Malta. So you can go into the workshop. There's different packs of Malta style buildings. And that's what I've used here. And yeah, what I wanted to do was make it all just pedestrian friendly. So all of these roads through here are actually pedestrian roads, but they're zonable pedestrian roads. And just to show you guys quickly what I'm talking about, it's when you go into this one here, pedestrian roads so you, ha you have all of these ones zonable pedestrian so I was using this one right here and so what I was doing then is basically banning all of the the cars on on everything but it actually just wasn't working because like I said they were getting off here and then they were still spawning cars regardless of if the cars were banned through here you know they were still just doing whatever they wanted so unfortunately this city was a bit of a failure but you know what you guys are always asking to see more of my off-camera cities and you know i have a lot trust me i have a lot of really different off style off style just different style um off city cameras and this is one of them so i'm actually using the map which is called Senu, S-E-E-N-U, it's by one of the other popular YouTubers, I can't remember who it was, but yeah, it's a really nice big flat open map, and I used a more Mediterranean theme, and like I said, I used a lot of Malta style buildings, but just to mix it up a little bit, I did put in some Mexican, really rustic looking little ones, I don't know what these are called, uh, when you go in here, you just type, it's just called Mexican, I think, if I go into growable, yeah, Mexic well, there we go. Mexican low residential low res. So if you want to find those on the workshop, you can. And yeah, so unfortunately, like I said, this city, it was a failure just because um, of the cruise ship terminal. But I think if I was building this just by a road and then the road, you know, stopped because it had a pedestrian road where the, where the cars were banned, I think we could get away with actually making just a pedestrian friendly city. But like I said, because of the, the cruise ship ter terminal, we can't really do too much about that. I just want to give a really quick little shout out. This whole style was uh, inspired by, I don't know how to pronounce his name properly, but it's A-T-Y-S, Atis, Atus. Um, he was doing this very Middle Eastern style build and what caught my eye about his build was that it it also had a story so I don't know it was just something different something really different from everybody else on YouTube so I really like that and that, and that really inspired all of this. Also the other reason why I wanted to show you guys this is maybe I am doing something wrong so I'm just going to show you guys again if I um, turn off all of these. So I've done most of them. Um, we'll just do this one as well. Although I kind of do like it with cars because you can actually see it's more lively. We'll just wait for this cruise ship to turn, uh, the cruise ship to come in. But yeah, I've banned all the cars through here, and they will actually come out as pedestrians and then automatic automatically spawn a car. If we just speed that up a bit, come on, in you come. Okay. So they're coming through, going through the checking area, getting their bags, security coming out. Okay, I'm sure they're coming now. Come on, okay. Okay, see the cars are suddenly appearing. They're going on here onto the part where I, where I banned all vehicles. And look, they're actually ignoring everything. <sighs> I don't know. Well, actually, they're going up here, but this sh I've banned this before. I started undoing it, but then I was like, maybe I'll just mention it in the video and see what you guys think. But yeah, cars are ignoring my rules. Um, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. And just quickly, 
I know that I know what you guys are probably thinking like what about all the other services and things like that because like if we ban all the cars through here what about for the garbage truck or something like that so I was actually using a mod which I don't like using but I just wanted to use it for this if we go in here it's this one the pollution rem remover mod you can actually remove different things so if you click on this there won't be any hearses to come pick up all of the dead people but I like to have that one on um, the garbage so the garbage trucks if you click that there won't be any police cars and so forth and you have those options up there so that's how you can get away with actually making it um, function without needing proper vehicle access on the buildings and the roads I thought I would throw in I thought I would throw in some grape vines over here but we also have the orchid well actually this is olive olive trees as well um, there's also a couple more over here so we have that one but is that normal like I don't really pay attention to Middle Eastern or Maltese style architecture I thought for sure we needed one big center piece through here just to you know a big town center area gated as well so I thought we'll make it really big so we can fit a lot of people in there uh, if there was to be like some kind of big festival this is all commercial through here I tried to make all this through here commercial as well uh, we have the fire station we have the police station over here the water tank this here is actually a cemetery but it had a small capacity so I had to throw in this guy and then if we go over to the other side I've hidden the elementary school under here there is no high school just yet I need to download one that is more suitable to this size and what else so we also have this little canal through here now I know someone's gonna ask so if I just go through here um, and show you guys what it is canal it's this one right here tiny canal that's it so it just connects up to the others but I like it because it's it's small it's probably half the size of the other ones and it is nice we also got the power line there as well and then of course I just want to <laughs> sorry I just have to go through these things because I know what people are going to ask um, usually when you place down these types of buildings there's a set road here but you can actually change that through this mod right here which is called touch this so when you place this down it has the road you click on this and then you'll click on this which will be I think green or something you click on it and then it'll change color and then that means you can now delete it or change it so that's that's a really really handy mod especially for um, train stations as well or the big cargo stations Definitely, definitely, definitely do need that. Let's go into first person mode. Oh, I just love how it all looks. I wanted to have a very crowded look. Lots of palm trees. Not too bushy though. Um, some little shrubs there. Some big shrubs. Bit of a beach access area. So this is the old Mexican. Well, I guess you would call this the low socioeconomic Mexican housing. No offense. I, but I think that's kind of like... Oops, not even the police right there, but that's kind of like the image that we're going for. Um, does anyone know of any more really good Middle Eastern style buildings like this? Because I couldn't really find any. These were the only, like the only pack I could get. Um, this one is actually good though. It's it, There's so many different sizes in the Malta pack. You have the really small ones. Uh, I think there's one level, yeah, there's like one level ones like this, or you have big apartment complexes like that, and they come in all different shapes as well. And like, I I'm not, the, the guy didn't um, like pay me to promote them or, or anything. I just like to show off this stuff. When I find good stuff, I want to show you guys because it's, it's hard. There's a lot of stuff on the workshop. It's pretty overwhelming. And yeah. So just go onto the Steam Workshop, type in Malta, click on the Building Selection tab, and you should find these. There's several different packs. Look at that. I like it. They have their little balconies. Let's see if we're up in here. That would be someone's view. Probably not very good, is it? <laughs> and then, um, so this um, pathway right here is just the, the dirt one in game. So what do you guys think? We have the little um, factory area over here. Not too big yet, but we can expand that excuse me let's go back over here there we go 
So just a couple of factories down here. I'm not really too sure how I'm going to expand the factory because obviously when you have more factories, there's going to be more truck traffic and you know, is this going to be able to handle truck traffic? I feel like truck traffic is going to kind of mess up the look of it. It's going to just not be very nice, but I really like that canal. Ugh. I just really, really like it. And it's something to work around as well. Give it just to, just to make it a little bit more interesting. Well, it's busy through here. We've got the, we've got the Jeeps. I should have downloaded some older looking little cars. Oh, that's a little Russian from the Russian pack, I think. Yeah, it's even got the Russian flag right there. <laughs> but yeah, there's not really too much else I can show you guys. So if you guys know how to stop the cars on roads that I have banned vehicles, that would be really, really handy. Um, I have adjusted all of the settings to make the the road, what's it called? Like the, the things I set up on the road, I have I've set it as strict. So they don't ignore my rules, but obviously they're just ignoring me because they do what they want over here in Malta, I guess. I don't know. Oh yeah, this is the school in there. This is, um, yeah, we have the grapevine through here. Hello. I actually got grapes. That's cool. Uh, I miss SimCity 4, you guys. Remember that if, if you guys didn't play SimCity 4, there was huge, big um, farmlands that you could put down, like really huge. Ugh. I really miss those. They, they were so cool. But yeah, I think that's all I can really show you guys quickly. Well, not quickly, but let's just go out. So population is only 3,000. Yes, we're not making money, but I'm not really caring about that. So anyway, do you guys have a a name suggestion for this? I I don't know. I really... Actually, what is it called? What's the generic name? San Vegas. Mm -hmm. Okay. But anyway, if someone speaks like Mal Maltese, is that is that what you call it? Maybe there's a nice word for like island or canal or I don't know. Let me know down in the description below and I'll let you guys know in the future. And like I said, um, shout out to that guy Atis, Atus, however you want to say it, for doing his own little interesting series with the Middle Eastern theme. And um, that kind of inspired me as well. Also, just before I go, if there's any other um, off-camera city that I have shown you guys that you would like an update, I'm more than happy to show you guys because even, even if I show you guys the city, I actually always build on them. I'm always changing something, expanding, you know, gentrification. I don't know. I'm always doing something. There's always something different in all of my saves. I don't know. Somehow I, f I find time to do updates on everything. So yeah, just let me know if you would like to see those. And yeah, if there's any other name suggestions for this, let me know in the comments below and I will catch you all later. Peace.